The Bengals just wrapped up Wednesday's practice. Next stop, the preseason. Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. Welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk, where every single training camp report brought to you by Rivertown Inquiry and RivertownInquiry.com. Doug and his team do a great job. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and checking out all of our videos, whether it's Andrew's highlights, whether it's Lyle Collins, who was cleared for practice today, and in pads, working a little bit during individual drills, and so much more. Make sure that you keep it locked right here for all of your Cincinnati Bengals news. And let's dive on in because Lel Collins was working today. Now, didn't do a ton, which you would expect. Look, the Bengals are taking it slow. It's the slow play. And they'll play their regular season debut a month from Thursday. So September 11th, right around the corner. But in the meantime, they have time to get Lel Collins right and get him to 100%. Not 85%, not 90 not 92.19%. No, 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 100%. And that's what Zach Taylor, Brian Callahan, and the Bengals coaching staff did today because, well, Frank Pollock took him through some individual drills, and that was about it. That's all we saw from uh, Lel Collins today. And that's what was expected. Zach Taylor talked before practice, and I think, to me, they'll gradually ease him in, and maybe we'll see him – do some team drills, maybe the joint practice week against the Rams. Maybe it happens next week. Maybe I'm off on this. But uh, I, I would be a bit surprised because I think they're just going to slow play this uh, as much as possible. But the Bengals did um, unveil, and, and Zach Taylor was the one who said this, a lot of their entrenched starters, in fact, all of their entrenched starters, the Jamar Chases, the Joe uh, Mixons, obviously Joe Burrow isn't going to play. He's still recovering from an appendectomy. But the entrenched starters will not play on Friday night. Uh, which is no shock, you know, preseason game number one. Guys like Jackson Carmen will. Guys that are battling for, uh, y you know, a roster spot or a starting job. And there aren't many, right? There really aren't. Uh, but th that one spot that is open is that left guard spot. So we'll see Jackson Carmen. We'll see guys rotating in and out there. But what happened at today's practice, a lot of team drills. And highlights are going to be great because you had a lot of 11-on-11s, because the starters aren't going to play much. So what they did is they kind of made the, or, or play at all for the most part on, on Friday. So what they did is they made this kind of a simulation because if they're not playing Friday. They only have walkthrough on Thursday before a game. Guess what? They're not going to practice till Sunday. You can work them a little bit today. And Jamar Chase wowed again, had multiple great catches, had a nice over-the-shoulder one-handed catch against Eli Apple, caught a deep ball. Uh, by beating Chidobe Awuzie as well. So speaking of Chido, by the way, you're going to hear from him on Thursday afternoon right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I caught up with him one-on-one -on -one earlier this week in the Bengals locker room. But it, Jamar Chase just continues to impress. Uh, Brandon Allen had some nice passes, had some that were a bit off target, but overall uh, was pretty solid in the team portion. One thing that I think is starting to become a theme, and I think it's going to be interesting to see how he responds, Jonah Williams has – gotten beat a decent amount by Trey Hendrickson in camp. And does that mean that Trey Hendrickson's taken another step and is going to become even more dominant as an edge rusher? Does that mean that Jonah Williams just struggles with a guy like Trey Hendrickson? I'm not sure exactly what the answer is, but uh, that's something I saw today. Also, Jeff Gunter, the seventh rounder out of Coastal Carolina, number 93, continues to show up, continues to make an impact. Got some run on the first team today. So did Kwame Lasseter. And it was good because you got to see guys rotate in and out in play with the first team. Even Jake Browning got a few reps at quarterback. And uh, does it mean anything? No, not really. But what I think it is is let's see what he looks like with a Jamar. Let's see what he looks like with a Tyler Boyd. T. Higgins obviously not going through team drills yet. I think that's going to change a a next week. And I think we'll start to see him mix into some 7-on-7s, seven -seven, mix in to some 11-on-11s 11 and, and get going. So haven't seen that yet. Obviously, he's been dominant in one-on-one. -on -one. Zach Taylor said he's ready to go. But just because you're ready to go doesn't mean they aren't going to play it safe. And I think that's what we're seeing so far with guys like Lyle Collins and naturally someone like T. Higgins. Sam Hubbard wasn't at today's practice, so that's something to uh, pay attention to. Did not practice again today. Uh, didn't practice on Sunday either, uh, or Monday either, excuse me. Uh, so that the days bleed together during camp. Monday either. Um, so we'll see. Wasn't going to play on Friday anyways. Maybe they just want to give him another rest day, and maybe we'll see him on Sunday when the Bengals resume practicing. Other notes, Evan McPherson, human, missed a kick at the end of practice. Made a bunch of them still, only missed one. 
but uh, he is human, even though they call him Money Mac. Every once in a while, he might leave you know, a dollar bill out here or there outside the uprights. Overall, though, he's had a stellar, stellar camp. And uh, another preseason note, and we'll do a preseason preview before uh, Friday night's game against the Cardinals. Four guys all going to rotate. Cal Adamitis and Clark Harris will rotate at long snapper, and the same thing goes for Kevin Huber and Drew Christman in that punter battle. Not only punting, but holding as well. It's going to be a battle. That's one of the bigger battles uh, on this team, certainly on this roster right now. We're going to have highlights coming your way from today's practice. Like I said, there are a lot of good ones from Jamar Chase's catches. Tyler Boyd had a nice catch. Hayden Hurst had a nice play. Two touchdowns. Joe Mixon had a touchdown catch, uh, it, which was a really nice one. Busted coverage. And uh, I got the still still shot, and I, I tweeted it out. Von Bell and Chidobe Awuzie in the area. Mike Thomas had a nice catch as well for a touchdown. So see all those highlights and so much more right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk, plus our huge, ginormous announcement coming Thursday night. It's the Bengals off day. It makes a ton of sense. 8 p.m. Eastern right here. So buckle up. It's going to be live, and it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to tell you about it. It's uh, really, really big news for the channel, and I can't wait to tell you. So for Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, I'm James Erpine. Signing off for now. Thank you so much for watching right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.